beautiful souls you guys are all doing well today I wanted to film an updated what's on my iPhone excess map and I wanted to showcase you guys on what I have on my iPhone the apps I'm loving the apps I've been using the apps I hate and we can share this together how I do my iPhone and like how I use it and just in more a minimalistic way I wanted to show you guys it so I thought I would film this today so get started and probably put you guys to the left over here I also wanted to say this is what I have on my iPhone first I have my off-white case on here and it's just black and you guys can have the link and find all my case collections and like my cases that I also have brought forth to you guys um, the link is down below or it's just the link is www dot it's nancyv.com really really easy so you guys can come on there and find it and um, match with me a lot of you guys have already given me feedbacks from since that I launched and since that we started uh, bringing forth this these cases to you guys you guys have loved it so I'm really happy and there are more to come so stay tuned this is what it looks like in the front. It's just all black. I have a screen protector on here and it's like a glass screen protector. However, like this is coming off a little bit. So I'm probably going to have to get a new one or something. Yeah. So as you guys can see, this is my lock screen right here. It's just like books and I love it so much because I read a lot and behind my camera right now there's like a bunch of bunch of books and I'm a heavy reader so I like reading and like just this wallpaper is so pretty and I thought it was really cute now this is what my phone looks like now it's really really clean as you guys can see like I have just two pages and I have gotten to the point where I only want to use apps that I heavily use a lot because I feel like when I just have too many apps cluttered or too many things going on in my I get like anxiety and I'm like oh my god I don't know, I just don't like it, I like, feel flustered and stuff. By the way, my wallpaper, I will also post it for you guys. So let's just get started. Some of the apps have badges, either I can't turn it off or I just want to leave it like that or whatever, but most of my apps, I do have the badges turned off. Um, so the first row, um, so this is my calendar. As you guys can see, there's like little dots everywhere because those are the things that I have to do um, and, re and a reminder. I don't think I can live without my calendar. Like I love my calendar my calendar is like everything to me the next one is google maps so i'm drive that often so when i do drive i literally have to live off google maps because i don't really know where i'm going and a sister needs a direction you know um the next one is weather twitter so i love twitter i live on twitter like crazy so if you guys are on twitter definitely um shoot me like a tweet or whatever we can talk on there and check it out i love twitter so much because i feel like it's i i'm on twitter religiously like a lot and every single morning it's actually part of my my morning routine to go on twitter and read um astrology tweets or just things that um i don't know i just think it's enlightening and i i, I really love it so notes and i i literally live off notes as well like i can't live without notes i probably write notes about everything about how i'm feeling all the time or like things i have to do things i have to remember because i'm one of those people who if i don't write something down i will literally forget it which is a bad trait right guys are you guys like this too it's definitely not the best trait but um i need to learn how to like remember things a lot better so no and then i have clock um i have so many alarm clocks and like yeah you guys can see here just a bunch of alarm clocks just because i literally need an alarm for every area of my life whether i'm taking a nap whether i'm waking up early whether i'm sleeping early like I just need an alarm all the time and yeah I'm heavily on this app as well I have Shopify that is the um, the app that I use for my store link down below again like I said for the cases that you guys want to take a look or just match me and then in this folder right here I have a snapchat let's go on snapchat don't you hate it when like your front camera opens like this and you're like hello so zoomed in is it just me or is snapchat like really zoomed in when it comes to the iPhone XS or iPhone X's. like I feel like it's a lot more zoomed in than like my friends who have the iPhone 7 plus or the iPhone 8 plus um, oh by the way I think you guys wanted an update because I so I did have this phone originally and then I went to the 8 plus and then I ended up switching back to this phone just because I just missed it I like the big screen and I like that um, it's not what is it like there's no it's all screen whereas the iPhone 7 plus and iPhone 8 plus only half screen or like partly not all screen so i didn't like that that's why i came back to this but as you guys were asking for an update that there you go i'm back to this one so yeah i didn't i didn't really last that long um and then i have a wallet which is apple pay and stuff which i'm always apple paying everything it's horrible don't put your credit card on your phone because you end up just tapping things buying things like not good um and then i have the facebook messenger which i'm never on because i don't have or really use facebook i have linkedin which is like a professional network 
Um, I have WeChat, which is like a platform I use to talk to like my some of my friends and like some of my friends overseas and like my family um i have telegram same with that one same with fiber as well free calling free texting like hello a girl is not going to be charged like 50 cents for a long distance text message no 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 um and then i have sleep cycle so this tracks your sleep and i haven't been co as consistent with this as i wanted to be um and this is what my sleep pattern looks like i guess some of the days and it's not that great i mean as you guys can see it's like up and down and i have had trouble sleeping in the past few months but i think that um it's gotten a lot better and flipboard so i'm always on flipboard just like reading things i don't know learning i think that oh i'm not logged in right now but i'm always on flipboard it's kind of like the news app but in canada we don't have the news app can you guys believe that we don't have the news app renfo which is um a scale app so i have a scale that i bought off amazon and whenever you go on it it connects and syncs to this app and it tells you like your weight and like how much like you fluctuate and all these things so pretty cool and then i have app store which is all the apps that are on my phone hello and then i have mail and then i have this calendars app this is what my calendar looks like um every month and i'm a very visual person so if you guys are visual like me you guys will like that this is like this and what i like about android is that you have this complete calendar in your home page probably why one of the reasons i always liked android before so yeah this is in the app but it's fine um and this is what my months look like a lot of things but i've even gotten better where i remember things more or like I only put important things that I have to do so yeah that's that and the next one is daily horoscope so this is the number one horoscope that I use the app just because I feel like it's the most accurate and it resonates to me the most and I mean there's a lot of apps out there but this is the one that I use and I'm a Gemini so this is my horoscope today there are two sides to every story Gemini no one would understand that better than you even so you may now be fixated on one particular troubling side of one particular story is it always accurate? I don't know. Maybe to a certain extent. Um, Pinterest. So I'm heavily on Pinterest as well. And I'm so glad that so many of you guys from my last video were able to make a Pinterest account. We pin things to each other. It's so fun. Pinterest is life. Pinning. I, I'm pinning like left to right all the time. Like I'm so satisfied. Like Pinterest just makes me really, really happy. This is my Instagram right here. If you guys want to take a look. I follow a lot of people on like beauty, fashion, lifestyle, makeup. Um clothing um so we connect a lot on there as well so if you guys are on there hi let's connect um the next one i have is whatsapp so that's like my main form of communication in um within my group of friends and stuff like i always use whatsapp what i have is land rover app and this connects to my car so it this is my car and i can start my car just from my phone so in the morning because it freaking snows here all the time my car sometimes is parked outside or whatever wherever it's parked i just click this engine start button like this and it says you're about to start your vehicle blah blah put in this pin and then my vehicle start and then it will be warm by the time i get to my car because it's so cold here that like it goes into the negative degrees and when it goes to that it's just freezing so i don't want to do that so we just want our car to be warmed up by the time we get there you know what i mean um the next one is nyakutui and this is like a vietnamese app with all of the vietnamese music that i have and i love so i'm heavily on this as well because i love vietnamese music a bunch of ads on it all the time so i don't really like it but that's the only avenue that i have for vietnamese music the best app that i've heard or like discovered so far so that's what i have to use um the next one is spotify so i love spotify so much if you guys have spotify take a look at my playlist link it down below for you guys all the time and we share music and so many of you guys have given me feedback on how you guys like my playlists and stuff so this is what i have here and i put a lot of effort into this guy and i am updating my music like every two days i would say definitely take a look at my playlist um vibes is like r&b or like what's new right now or pop in narcos is like all hip-hop um in my feelings is like sad songs you know like songs where you want to be in your feeling the next one is apple music so i do have apple music as well and this is how do i i, I think i can share it with you guys as well like my playlist so th these are this is my playlist right here vibes so i'll share it down below if you guys want to or if you guys only have apple music i can share it down below for you guys the bottom row that never changes is safari phone and messages i message a lot too there are so many cute like little things you can do in iMessage and it's super super adorable i love iMessage and like just group chats with like 
family and stuff. Next page is this last page here and I only have two pages because it makes me feel like I am organized in my phone and when I feel like I'm organized in my phone, I feel better about myself. I know I'm weird but honestly guys, when you have your phone, you literally are on your phone like, you know, one third of the freaking day and you pick it up all the time. Like an average person, I think there was a study that they pick up their phone or looks at their screen 200 times. That's insane. So 200 times and my phone is really close to my heart and I keep a lot of things on here. So I want my phone to be clean and organized and not give me anxiety when I look at it. Well, so that is what helps me is having my apps aligned and in order and clean. This is my second page and um, this is what I, this is what works for me. So one is just like apps where I don't use like the stock apps and stuff. I know you can delete them but I just leave it. Um, YouTube and then I have YouTube Studio. So that is like for analytics for YouTubers to take a look. I can reply to comments right there as well. So that's what I usually do. Reply to comments you guys, say hi and then you know sometimes you get comments like you're trash and I'm like thank you. Sending you love and light. Um, and then I have PayPal. So that's just something that I use to sometimes like pay or like send people money or like you know things like that and then this whole second row is all of my bank accounts so yes it's a lot but i have four bank accounts and these are all of the canadian banks bmo td canada scotia bank and cibc um one is for like my mortgage so that's why i have to have that the other three are like two for personal and then one is for business that's that um and then i have here the photo folder um and this is where i would have my photos kind of edited and if you guys want a video on how i edit my photos definitely thumbs up this video and comment down below i would totally love to make that for you guys as well um so i would say i use all all or most of these apps um planally is something that i heavily use so this is just like for you to plan out your feed and it's free so that's good a girl likes free things right and then you can just plan out your you know feed and stuff here so this is what it looks like and then you can plan out what it looks like like honestly though if you look at my feed it doesn't really look like i plan it out because i'm not that great of a planner i try unfold is how i make the um instagram stories those are my best two apps i would say my next one is kind of like productivity or things that i need kind of apps i don't know we can go through it i have dropbox um which is like for file files um my account fido which is like my carrier so i can see how much data or internet i've been using and how much i've gone over and how much i need to pay oh gosh and then i have pc optimum which is like buying my groceries and getting points because a girl likes free shit so a girl gotta get her points you know microsoft word google chrome google drive and then adsense facebook page um just for the pages that i've created i also have a facebook page as well link down below if you guys want to take a look and like it um i have docusign which is how you sign your documents sometimes i have to sign documents on the go so that's really useful kpu i can actually delete that but that was my school um my university but I'm graduated now, so I don't need that anymore. I have chat time, which is like my boba points. And see, I have a lot of points app. You guys must have been like, what is wrong with you? I have this Amazon. I'm heavily on Amazon. Cineplex, which is how I watch movies because I'm a heavy movie and Netflix user. So I always also watch movies in the theaters. So that's something that I love. Um, OFX, which is like a bank account I have related to the States. Um, oh, the next one is more random ass apps that i probably don't really use and we're not going to go through it all because they i don't use them that much anymore sometimes i do so let's say some of the flight apps i have uber we don't have uber here yet so that's why it's in this otherwise if i had uber here girl i would be heavily using uber all the time um and then the next few ones are just like random stuff that i've downloaded but never really used so grateful netflix i you watch netflix on my phone all the time it's kind of a bad Thing. Um, here is the games app, but for some reason I have Domino's in here because I order way too much pizza. Starbucks and then Google Sheets. So I'm heavily on Google Sheets because I'm a heavy Excel user for my businesses and just for things that I need and things to jot down. And I like to calculate a lot of the things, so I'm on Google Sheets like all the time. And then I have Pay by Phone, which is a phone app. So yeah, oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, did I already talk about my wallpaper? Well, let me know if you guys want it. That was all that's on my iPhone. And um, see, so I got you like, I just got a comment. Someone said, I love your backpack. Thank you. I love you too. Anyway, all that's on my iPhone, guys. And pretty quick video, not really. But that's all that's in my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed the apps. And I hope you guys know that your phone is something that you use all the time. So just make sure it's like clutter free and you take the time to like delete things that you don't need, conversations that you don't read, like photos that you don't look at. All of these things matter and everything is energy, right? So we want to make sure we're like cluttering our things and like cleaning out our lives, especially our phone is one of them. And just having like that digital minimalistic vibe and knowing that it's 
gonna be okay so that was my phone and i wanted to film that for you guys so you guys can take a look on how i've been living and what's in my phone and stuff so thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time bye